Hello, I'm Margot Politis. Welcome to another episode of Study English, IELTS Preparation. Today we're going to listen to a finance report. It's filled with numbers and amounts expressed in a variety of ways. It's important to be able to understand and describe numerical data using decimals, fractions and currencies. Listen to the day's finance report. The Australian dollar today, Tuesday the 11th of November, continues to rise against the US dollar, buying just over 70 cents, a 15-year high. Against other currencies, however, the trend is a little different, falling against the pound, closing at 0.425, a slight drop on yesterday, and 0.61 euros. The yen is also strengthening at 71.95 and considerably higher against the greenback at 111.03 yen. The Dow Jones index closed today at 9,809.79, a fall of 47.18 on yesterday's trading. The Sydney stock market doubled its trading yesterday with BHB Billiton trading heavily. The latest retail figures showed that turnover grew by 3.2% in the June quarter, the fastest quarterly growth rate for five and a half years. At the same time, unemployment fell to its lowest level in 12 and a half years. OK, first we're going to look at decimals and how you express them. Listen carefully again. Against other currencies, however, the trend is a little different, falling against the pound, closing at 0.425, a slight drop on yesterday, and 0.61 euros. The yen is also strengthening at 71.95 and considerably higher against the greenback at 111.03 yen. The Dow Jones index closed today at 9,809.79, a fall of 47.18 on yesterday's trading. In English, decimals are written with a point, not a comma. So we write 4.25, 6.1. When you say the numbers after the decimal point, you say them all separately as individual numbers. So we have 71.95, 47.18, Notice that a zero is often spoken as O. Practice saying these numbers. 326.25 4.897 Listen again. Against other currencies, however, the trend is a little different, falling against the pound, closing at 0.425, a slight drop on yesterday, and 0.61 euros. The yen is also strengthening at 71.95 and considerably higher against the greenback at 111.03 yen. The Dow Jones index closed today at 9,809.79, a fall of 47.18 on yesterday's trading. The Sydney stock market doubled its trading yesterday with BHB Billiton trading heavily. You can hear that when using numbers, there are often alternatives and many choices you can make. So, conversationally, we would usually say 111.03, but you will also often hear 111.03. Here, we could say 0 0.425, 0.425, or even just 0.425. Notice that in North America, people usually say zero, not naught or O. OK, now the other way of expressing numbers less than one is using fractions. Listen to the fractions here. The latest retail figures showed that turnover grew by 3.2% in the June quarter, the fastest quarterly growth rate for five and a half years. At the same time, unemployment fell to its lowest level in 12 and a half years. She uses the most common fraction, a half. Listen to how we say common fractions. A half, a third, a quarter, two thirds, five eighths, three quarters. Notice that once you understand the pattern, you can express any fraction you want. Try these. 
7 eighteenths, 16 thirtieths, 14 fortieths. Okay, now listen again to some of the report. Listen for different currencies. Against other currencies, however, the trend is a little different, falling against the pound, closing at 0.425, a slight drop on yesterday, and 0.61 euros. The yen is also strengthening at 71.95 and considerably higher against the greenback at 111.03 yen. There were a number of different currencies mentioned in that clip. The pound, the euro, the yen, the greenback. Let's have a look at them. Lots of countries use a dollar. In Australia, the Australian dollar is usually expressed with the dollar sign. But internationally, it's written like this, AUD. We read this, the Australian dollar. In the United States, they use the dollar as well. It's the USD, the United States dollar. But it's often called the greenback because it's green. In Great Britain, they use the pound. It's written GBP, but it's often called the pound sterling. In the European Union, they use the euro dollar, written like this, EUR. In Japan, it's the yen, written JPY. In China, it's the yuan, written CNY. And the renminbi, RMB. Notice that we write the currency before the number, but we say it after the number. So we read two dollars, or four pounds 15. Notice also how we read longer numbers, 3,470 Japanese yen, 192 Australian dollars. Notice that when spoken naturally, the one often becomes a, uh, and the and becomes squashed. We don't say 192, but 192. Try this one. 127,322 Hong Kong dollars. Okay, now let's listen to the report again and then we'll look at another important use of numbers. The Australian dollar today, Tuesday the 11th of November, continues to rise against the US dollar, buying just over 70 cents, a 15-year high. Notice that she says Tuesday the 11th of November. Saying simple things like the date can be confusing in English as the way they're said varies. In Australia, we say the 11th of November or November the 11th. Notice that it's written without the words the or of. For the 13th of February 2005, Australians would write this. 13.02.2005 but in North America, they'd write it 02.13.2005. You'll need to learn these to make sure you don't turn up somewhere on the wrong day. So remember that in Australia, we write the date day.month.year, but in North America, they write month.day.year. And there is even an international standard that says the format should be year.month.day. With numbers, dates and times, there are all sorts of variations. Just make sure you understand the currency, the time and the date, or you could find yourself in all sorts of trouble. And I'll see you soon for more Study English. Bye-bye.